Just as two everyday people can meet at work and fall in love, celebrities can meet on the set of a movie or at a studio to record a song, and just like everyday marriages, sometimes they don't last forever. While there are marriages that have lasted long and kept both parties happy, there are also marriages that die quickly and are very regrettable. Chris Kattan and Sunshine Tut SNL alum Chris Kattan married professional model Sunshine Tut in June of 2008. The two would get separated in August only two months later. They didn't divorce, though. They would simply be separated until February of 2009. The two cited irreconcilable differences as the reason the two split. It was reported that Tut walked away with a low six-figure sum after the split and said she would use the money she received to rebuild her life. This would be the only marriage for Catan, but not the only time he would make headlines over romantic antics. There was speculation that a relationship was blooming between Chris Catan and co-SNL star Maya Rudolph, but it would not be confirmed by either Maya Rudolph or Chris Catan. The two had kept their personal business, if there was any, very private. There were also rumors circulating that there was something between him and Jennifer Coolidge. Catan keeps his personal life just that. He hasn't said anything about who he's seen or spoken about or announced any new relationships, but in 2019, he was photographed at Elton John's AIDS Foundation Academy Awards viewing party with model Cheyenne Gordon. Jim Carrey and Lauren Holly Lauren Holly and Jim Carrey, who not only only had a relationship off-screen, but on-screen as well, as they both had predominant roles in the 1994 film Dumb and Dumber, would officially tie the knot two years after starring in the film together. The two would not stay married for long, of course, with Lauren Holly filing for divorce just two months shy of a year. She would cite irreconcilable differences. Lauren would later let out in an interview that the two had been secretly dating for years before they got hitched. The two tried to keep the press out of their lives, but the press did not receive the memo. Holly said that the press would scale the Holly Carey household's fences and they would go through their garbage. The two started dating soon by the time that Carey's first divorce was finalized. Melissa Carey, born Melissa Jane Wormer, had told the Spokesman Review back in 1995 that she believed that Holly was in the picture a lot more than the two were letting on. Holly denied Melissa, claiming that when they met in 1995, Jim Carey was single. Melissa and Jim would meet at a comedy club Carey would perform at before he was known as Jim Carey. Nicholas Cage and Lisa Mary Presley The main thing Lisa Mary Presley is known for is not being married to actor Nicolas Cage. It's a tie between her marriage to Jackson 5 superstar Michael Jackson and her father being Elvis Presley. The two got married in 2002, on the 25th anniversary of the passing of Elvis Presley. The couple wouldn't last more than three months, splitting in August but not finalizing the divorce until May of 2004. Cage was not one to talk openly about his marriage, saying through his publicist that he did not discuss his marriage, so he would not be talking about the divorce either. Either. Lisa Marie talked a little more on the separation, saying that she was sad about it, but the two shouldn't have been married in the first place. She spoke about what it was that brought the two of them together. She said that it looked as if the two were equal. The two had similar backgrounds, saying that caused them to connect. After the whole ordeal, Lisa Marie Presley confirmed that she and the actor were very much still friends. We were both a bit, we're sort of these gypsy spirits, you know, tyrannical pirates. Drew Barrymore and Tom Green The two would elope in 2001, spending only one one month shy of half a year as a couple. They would eventually split in 2002. The two had met while they were both filming Charlie's Angels, and they began dating while working on the show before eventually calling it off. Tom Green would be the one to file for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences being the reason for the split. Drew would say that she would have stopped and thought about marrying him at such a young age, calling herself and her ex-husband idiots. While the two had stopped making contact with each other for quite some time after they went their separate ways, the two have always spoken of each other with respect and admiration. In September of 2020, 19 years after the couple would initially be married and 18 since they had split, the two reunited for Drew's talk show, The Drew Barrymore Show. The two discussed their honeymoon in Ireland, a honeymoon that included a hairy sheep, a mini cemetery, jumping in random oceans, and discovering random fields. Barrymore spoke highly of the time the two spent together, saying it was one of her favorite trips of her life. Carmen Electra and Dennis Rodman Professional basketball player Dennis Rodman and professional actress Carmen Electra tied the knot back in 1998 in what was described by people around the couple as an all-night bender. The marriage would not last long at all, lasting a total of only nine days before Dennis Rodman would file for annulment, citing his reasoning as being not of sound mind when the two had got hitched. The two did not give up so easily right away, giving things another chance, but the marriage just didn't work out. Many were not surprised the marriage fell through considering what was going on for the two at the time. Carmen Electra had recently lost both her mother and her sister just within 
two weeks of each other. If those around them spoke honestly when the whole thing happened on impulse during their bender, the two would both move and get married to other people not that long after. After Electra watched The Last Dance, she told the Los Angeles Times that it brought tears to her eyes to see him back on the court. Cher and Greg Allman When it comes to Cher being alongside someone, the majority of people's first thought is Sonny and Cher, the husband and wife who made history with their music in the 60s and 70s. But when the two divorced, a new man entered Cher's life. That man was Greg Allman. The Allman Brothers band singer would get engaged to the pop star just three days after the divorce from her first husband, Sonny Bono, was finalized. The marriage of the two had garnered some raised eyebrows. One thing people didn't know about was the difference between the two, Cher being a pop star and Greg Allman being a southern rock musician. Their marriage would not last long at all. It ran its time in only nine days. While the two would not be together long, they would end up having a child together. Elijah Blue Allman was born July 10, 1976. After the two became single, Cher would not go on to marry anyone. Allman would marry a few more women in his lifetime, the most recent being Shannon Williams, who he married in February of 2017, just two months before he unfortunately passed away due to liver cancer on the 27th of May. Britney Spears and Jason Alexander Before Britney would celebrate her much-deserved freedom from her conservatorship, she would marry Jason Alexander in 2004. Now, some people may be imaging a fat, bald man who's stingy with his money, but that's not the case. She married Jason Allen Alexander, who was her best friend growing up when the two lived in Kentwood, Louisiana together. Alexander isn't really a celebrity. In fact, it's not really known what it is he does for a living. According to Google, he's best known for being the first husband of the toxic singer. The two didn't last longer than any other celebrities on this list, lasting only 55 hours together before they would quickly get their union appalled. Alexander claimed the reason for the split was Spears' team. He said they had him sign documents for the marriage that said if they had still enjoyed their time together after six months, the two could then get an official marriage. This is why it was shocking to him for their relationship to have been called off after two days, saying he thought the deal was six months. He said they had allowed him and Brittany phone time afterwards, and he thought they were going to let them talk and maybe see about marriage in the future. But things didn't go as planned, and soon enough, he couldn't even reach her. There have been many celebrity marriages. Some last a very long time, like the one between Dolly Parton and Carl Thomas Dean, which has been going on since 1966. But some marriages don't last very long at all, like the ones we saw here. Sometimes, celebrities just need to go their own ways to find their true loves, just like the normal people they are. Which marriage surprised you the most? Which one did you root for the most? Let us know in the comments down below.